Ah, uh, yes. I started. Can you all hear my voice? Yes. Okay. Can anyone hear right. my voice? Yes. Yes, I can hear you all. Voice. So, should we start? Uh, yes, we should start now. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm going to keep this brief as I know you all are busy people. So, I'm going to make this quick for you. This is Miss Avifa, your manager officer. We are calling with infras. We are calling in with uh, infrastructure and maintenance officer, which is Miss Shafika, and our training officer Miss Shahira. Hi, hi, hi. So here we also hi. have our occupational health and safety officer, which is Miss Farah, calling from Australia, and our financial officer is. Miss Nurul. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi everyone. Hi. I think we are ready to begin now. So mm -hmm. the objective our of our today's conference call is to follow up everyone's progress regarding uh, the idea to make our work environment safer. Mm -hmm. So before I go any further, I would like to ask Miss Shahira to go through the minutes of our previous meeting. Could you please start, Ms. Shahira? All right, Ms. Afifa, thank you. All right, so I'm going to start uh, telling the minutes of our last meeting. In our previous meeting, Ms. Shafika has presented the report on the breaking case that happened in our factory a few weeks ago. And we have discussed like, several items to make our work environment safer, right? So the first thing that I've been proposed is by myself, which I proposed to add more CCTV camera at the blind spot area and also to add more emergency exits at every floor. And next, we have also Ms. Farah suggested that we use some product access as a security to enter certain areas such as production room, operation room and control room. So Ms. Afifa has also proposed to hire more security guards and double the patrolling time. And last but not least, uh, Ms. Shafika gave an idea about placing spotlights on outside of our building. To everyone, uh, to everywhere else, there is there any other um, addition or correction? Uh, to yes, the I do, Ms. Shafika. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the last meeting, I have presented the final report regarding the loss during the break-in incident. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Thank you for adding that, Ms. Nurul. Now that we have made some corrections to the minute, can someone approve the minutes? Uh, I approve the minutes. Could someone else second the motion? I second the motion. So the minutes are approved as corrected. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Farah, would you mind taking the minutes of this meeting? Yes, of course. I will do that. Okay, thank you, Ms. Farah. Uh, have you all received a copy of the agenda? Be uh, there are three items. Uh, okay, there are three items on our agenda. Uh, the first one is to hear the reports from our financial officer, Ms. Nurul, and also Ms. Uh, Farah, uh, based on our previous meeting. And second agenda is to discuss in detail about the things that, that has to be upgraded in our company. And the third agenda is to finalize decision to accomplish our main objective, which is to strengthening our company safety. Mm, so, uh, without, uh, let's get started with uh, item number one. Uh, ah, before that, Ms. Nurul has already sent me the financial plan to increase the security of our company. I guess it will be okay if we hear the report from Ms. Nurul. Would you please start, Ms. Nurul? Thank you, Ms. Afia. No problem. Okay, now I'm going to, deliv to deliver the report that I have prepared regarding the expected cost needed for installment of the equipment and also the cost for upgrading or building. And I also done some research on the cost for every item we have suggested previously. So firstly, the price of installment of CCTV camera and trampoline access system are approximately 120 ringgit and 300, 300 ringgit per unit respectively. We can get this from a company known as Mass Intelligent Providers in Next, the salary of hiring a security guard 
which we can get from DHI Kawalan Sinabur Height. Uh, the price is around 1,700 1, ringgit. And next, the emergency exit will cost us estimated at 30,000 ringgit. And also, finally, um, the suitable spotlight, which is the price is quite reasonable. It's just around 150 ringgit. Mm -hmm. But we have not decided yet how many items, how many units that uh, for every uh, suggested item that we have uh, discussed previously. And also, how many security guards that we want to hire. So, I may need a suggestion from all the officers regarding this matter. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nurul, for the reports. I think that it will be discussed later on the second agenda. Um, but now, let us hear the report from Ms. Farah. So, is there any updates, Ms. Farah? Oh, yes, Ms. Afifa. Uh, before that, I want to ask if my voice is clear. Because um, I'm afraid in this line in Dubai is not so good. Yes, yes, I, yes, can, hear I can hear you clearly. Very clear. Okay, um, I have emailed to you the SOP of our new system, which is the thumbprint access and also the safety inspection about the emergency uh, at, at our building. Uh, I have also prepared the updates of uh, the safety regulations, procedures, and policies uh, in order to improve the safety aspect of the uh, as these are the new uh, safety regulations, I am planning uh, to arrange for exercises and training to all of our workers. Uh, so, what do you all think? Um, I think it's a very good idea. Uh, have you think about when we can do the exercise and training for all the workers? Yes, I also want to know deeper about your planning. Um, can you uh, please explain a bit more? Okay, um, from the previous meeting, we have discussed about having a fire drill day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it can be a one-day training, including the briefing about the new safety policies so that everyone is aware and okay. uh, aware about the entry it without any problems and have the same misunderstandings. Uh, is that clear? Yes, thank you, Miss Farah, for your clarification. Right. Uh, thank you, Miss Farah, for your report. Can Miss Farah and Miss Shahira di discuss among yourself about the about the dates and upcoming for the training day, so that we can arrange according to our company calendar. So please update that as soon as possible to me. Okay, sure, we'll do yeah. that. Sure, we'll do that. Okay, thank you. Now, let's move on to our second agenda, which is to discuss in detail about the things to be upgraded in our company. Uh, let's start with Ms. Afifa. Okay, thank you, uh, Ms. Afifa. I'm sure you all have received factory plan layout that I have emailed earlier. I've spotted few areas that need to give more attention. That spotted area have high possibility possibility to be break in. Uh, so um, place two spotlight in front of factory on left side because uh, that place near to the bushes and two spotlight place uh, behind of the building because it is where the previous incident happened. Mm, yes, I agree with you, Ms. Shafika, because the location of flying spot area is too dark and could not be seen by security guard. Um, by the way, Ms. Shafika, how about the CCTV that we have planned to add more? How many CCTV we should install and where exactly the locations are? I do have a plan, but I want to hear if you all have any uh, suggestion. The CCTV that we have already now is eight unique. And I suggest to, um, I suggest what about we add uh, um, Mm -hmm. About 20 units more. So okay. I think we can install the CCTV at the blind spot area mm -hmm. and also okay. some um, and also some important rooms such as um, control room, 
production room and operation uh, yes, room. Yes, control room, production room and uh, operation, operation room, room that have high possibility to, yes, that has uh, that have high possibility to be break in. <coughs> this, it would be easy for us to monitor uh, if there is any suspicious movement at that location. Oh, um, I'm afraid I can agree with you, Ms. Hafifa. 20 units of CCTV is too many. Why don't we minim uh, minimize the quantity by place the location that is uh, really needed only? I suggest that uh, when I check CCTV location there, there, there is a uh, there is Singles is hidden from TV view. Uh, the for one unit and put is uh, Farah. I think I can uh, clear your. I can hear your voice yes. clearly. Which which part do I miss? Uh, can you repeat your poem, Miss Farah? Okay. Um, minimize the quantity of placing the CCTV. Only is the CCTV the location in the only. So I suggest three CCTV in Uh, the motion of the CCTV there, there is some angles that is hidden from the CCTV view and also some of the fleas that I think is, it is necessary is uh, at the stairs for one unit and two more units for every floor which is the hallway. So overall, it just need 15 CCTV uh, rather than 20 units of CCTV which is proposed by Ms. Hafifa. Sorry, I want to ask for clarification. Are you saying that we should add more CCTV at the place you mentioned before to maximize the security? Ah uh, yes. Uh, if we place the CCTV at the correct place, we would uh, not have to add twenty units. It is such a waste of money. We should also try to cut the cost if possible. Uh, thank you all for your. Thank you all for your feedback. Now let's move on to the next item, uh -huh. which is tampering access for certain secure area. Is it okay if I suggest only few people can assess that area, such as officers from all department and operators that work under production room, operation room, and control room? Uh -huh. I agree with you, Mr. Fifa. In my opinion, I don't think that everyone can randomly assess or entering those restriction area because they don't have. I don't think that they have any important important tasks uh, to do in their rooms. Mm. Mm, okay, I assume that everyone is agree with this thumbprint mm -hmm. decision. So, um. Let's move on to another point, which is hiring more security guards. What are your thoughts? Ms. Shahira, do you have any idea about this? Uh, okay, thank you Ms. Eva. I think I have some ideas uh, about the security guards. Uh, the current security guards that we have now is only two, right? So my idea is to add another four security guards. So overall, you are going to have six security guards. How about that? Um, sorry to interrupt. Yes. It does. It doesn't seems like it seems like too little for having just six security guards in total mm -hmm. to work for us. Okay. It doesn't seems to be permissible to increase our company's security level, because from the free, previous incidents, lacking of the security guards is the main reason why we could not catch the culprit. So um. I suggest to add another six more security guards. So, four security guards will be assigned to work for every shift. Uh, I was just about to talk about that actually. I suggest that we only hire four more because uh, only two security guards are patrolling our building every night and day shift, right? So, but adding four is more reasonable as we can make them change their shift. 
Mm. Yes, I understand about changing their shift. Mm-hmm. But at the end, only two security guards that will be protecting their the building. Mm-hmm. And am I right, Miss Shahira? Um, I think I understand what is Miss uh, Shafika want to say. Let me rephrase this. It is mean if we only add, uh, another four, we actually didn't double the patrolling time. But actually, just make our security guard have shift only. Oh, I see. I uh, understand now. So it will be better if we add another six because we can divide the shift to become shift to become three or four percent per shift, right? So they can double the patrolling time more often. Is that uh, what yeah. you mean, Miss Nuru? Yeah, you get my point. All right. Okay. 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 So we all agree to add six mm-hmm. security guard. I'm sorry. To add. Six security guard, uh, as what Miss Shafika explained before. Mm-hmm. So okay, now let's move on to our final item, which mm-hmm. is to, um, uh, uh, which is uh, emergency exit. How many emergency exit should we add? Okay, uh, for now we only have two emergency exit mm-hmm. that located in front and behind of our building. We can add one emergency exit. Uh, door for every floor. Uh, sorry, may I ask, uh, how do we want to add new emergency exit on the second and third floor? From my point of view, I think we should just add staircase that will be located outside of the building and connect all emergency door from every floor to the ground. So we do not need to rebuild or renovate our building just to add the stair inside of uh, our building. And if there are any uh, incident uh, happen in future, the evacuation of worker will be more efficient. Okay, so um, do you mind if I'm asking, is it safe for our workers to use uh, that staircase? Because I think it will be more crowded during the evacuation time and people might fall down. Uh, we will choose the safe staircase that provide more spaces to accommodate more people when using it. And the handrail on the staircase will be higher to prevent uh, any possibility for people to falling down. Okay. Oh, okay. For that reason, I think the percentage of safeness will be high. Therefore, I agree with the suggestion. Mm. Before we go to our last item on the agenda, can Miss Nurul please finalize the expected cost for all things for upgrading purposes that we have discussed just now? Okay, from based on what we have discussed just now, roughly I have calculated the calculation. Uh, we need around 43,600 ringgit 43, to add five. Sorry, to add 15 CCTVs mm-hmm. camera okay. and three thumbprint access for uh, secure areas such as control room, production room and also operation room. Okay. And we're going to hire six more security guards okay. and also emergency exits for every floor and four spotlights. As far as I know, this aspect has spent our reading our budget. Okay, mm-hmm. it's good. Thank you, Ms. Nuru. Oh, that's great, that's great. It's a very Direct and clear explanation. So the third item of our agenda is to finalize our decision to accomplish our main objective, mm-hmm. which is to strengthening our company's safety. Mm-hmm. So any objection from any anyone? I think, uh, uh, no, I think no. Uh, no, Joe? I have no objections. Yes, I have no objection too. I think what we have discussed is already so great. So we'll proceed for the our decision. Yes. What about Miss Shafika? Do you have any objection? No, no, nothing. So, <laughs> thank you all and that's all for today. Thank you for your time. Okay. For Miss Farah, enjoy the rest of your day at Australia. <laughs> and for okay. others, have a great weekend. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. And bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.